Now to our series On Thin Ice. In the late 1950s, the U.S. government planned to develop a deep water port off the far northwestern corner of Alaska. The plans move forward despite the fact the waters in the region are frozen solid most of the year. Sean Calebs explains how Project Chariot almost became a reality. Point Hope, a small village in Alaska's upper northwest corner, has always been a whaling community. The Inupiat here are hunters and gatherers, according to longtime resident Steve Umatuck. Without the animals, we wouldn't be who we are today. You know, the gift of life that they give us. They gave us an identity. And that's why we're so protective of the animals that we depend on. But there's a footnote in history that shows just how close this region came to something incredibly frightening. Now out there is the Chukchi Sea. And at one point, the US government wanted to build a deep water port. Never mind the fact that this is an area that is frozen solid about nine months out of the year. And the way the government wanted to build the port is unbelievable. The great and violent power of nuclear explosions can be used for peaceful purposes. It was post-World War II, and a scientist named Edward Teller was leading the push to find commercial uses for the United States stockpile of nuclear weapons. You heard right, nuclear weapons. In the late 50s and early 60s, Teller and his team determined that five strategically placed nuclear warheads would create an instant deep water port less than 45 kilometers from this small coastal village of native Alaskans, a port for ships, and a way to move coal and other natural resources in the high north. It was labeled Project Chariot. When you think about it, you're just like, oh my God. Caroline Cannon says it is amazing how far the project advanced. I think the federal government came in the time, you know, in that time, back in the day that they came and um, saw that we were soft hearty people and they took advantage of that. They got this all set, they got the detonations, they drilled the holes. This was supposed to be a hundred times stronger than Hiroshima. The point man for Project Chariot, Edward Teller, was no quack. He was one of the leading scientists that helped the U.S. develop the first nuclear bomb, the Manhattan Project during World War II. It was Teller who told the people of Point Hope the wind and ice would carry harmful radiation far away. They're all set to do this detonation. They, they want the people to move. They are going to supply them with food and everything. And the people said no. The people of Point Hope dug in their heels and refused to move. This short-circuited plans to find commercial uses for nuclear weapons, sparing Point Hope, and indeed the world, from Project Chariot. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Point Hope, Alaska.